Today I'm going to show you how to find the center of a circle using just a square. So here's how it's done. First thing you want to do is you want to take the point of the square and place it anywhere on the edge of the circle. And because I'm using a writing instrument to mark this, I want to make sure that I pull that back just off the edge enough for the width of my writing instrument. And then we can take this and draw a line here and a line here. Now where those two points connect to the edge of the circle, what we want to do is we want to connect those two lines, creating that line segment, and this will be the diameter of the circle. And if we run that across like that, now we've created the diameter. Now to find the true center of the circle, all we have to do is rotate this around and do it one more time in a different orientation. So I'm going to do it somewhere in here. Make sure we we'll leave enough gap there for my writing instrument. And then we're going to do the same thing. Line here, line there, and then I will connect the points of those two lines. And where the two lines cross, that is going to be the center of the circle. So now we have found the center point. And if you want to double check it, you can always do one more just to verify it. I should be pretty close uh, doing this on camera. I'm not entirely 100% accurate, but let me back it off just a little bit there for the width of the writing instrument. Line here, line here. Uh, I definitely got it off of that side a little bit. And then when we connect the two lines or two points, we should cross pretty close to the center point. So it wasn't too bad. It came out pretty accurately. So this is known as Thales theorem. Now, if you want to learn how to prove that this actually works, uh, just stick around and I'll show you how to prove Thales theorem. So I've started off with a circle where I've drawn the diameter or any, any line segment that passes through the center point is the true diameter of the circle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick an arbitrary point anywhere on the semicircle. So ours is going to be right here. And now we're going to connect these points, uh, the outside points of the diameter of the circle, each one of them to that point. So if we get the first one here, and then we'll connect the second one. Now we're going to mark these points as point A, point B, and point C. Now what Thales theorem says is that three points on any given uh, circle where line segment AC passes through the center point of the circle or the diameter of the circle, then angle B will always be 90 degrees. Now, the way that you prove this is you have to know a couple of truths. So first of all, I want to connect line, uh, point B to center point O so that we can uh, prove this geometrically. So if we connect this point. Now, two things that we have to keep in mind here. The first of which is that any given triangle, the interior angles all add up to 180 degrees, it's something we learned very early on. Now, the second thing that you have to just know as a truth is that in an isosceles triangle, and an isosceles triangle is a triangle with two equal sides, that this angle and this angle will be exactly the same. That's the second thing that you have to just know or take as fact in order to prove uh, Thales theorem. So if we look closer at this one, what we've done is we have point A, point B, point C, and the center point O. Now by by connecting line segment uh, uh, BO, what we've done is we have split each one of those into two separate isosceles triangles because this line segment o, or BO is the same distance as CO. And on the other side, AO and BO are exactly the same different dif uh, distance. They are all the radius of the circle. So we know that this angle and this angle are equal to one another. And we're going to label those X and X. And now we know that this angle 
and this angle are also equal to each other. So we'll label them y and y. Now we can write this equation out. If we look a little closer now at the larger triangle, we know that all of these angles added up together will equal 180 degrees. That's our first truth. So if we add these together, we have x plus x plus y plus y is equal to 180 degrees. Now we can reduce that down or we can state it a little differently by putting it as 2x plus 2y equals 180 degrees. Now if we divide each side by 2, so we'll over 2 and over 2, the 2's will cancel out on this side leaving x plus y and on the other side it's 180 divided by 2 is 90 degrees. So now if we look at the drawing again, we know that x plus y is equal to 90 degrees. x and y make up this angle here. And so we now know that that is square. And that is how you prove Thales' theorem.